everyone. I started a brand new reading series that is going to be all the little golden books. And the second book I'm reading in this series is It's a Small World, um, which is an attraction in Disney. Here we go. It's a Small World, the happiest cruise that ever sailed. If any of you ever have been to Disney, it's a really cool thing to see. One day, my friends and I decided to travel the world. We hopped in a boat and saw amazing things. In England, we saw Tower Bridge and Big Ben. So Big Ben is a clock tower in London. Hello. We floated down the Seine in France past the Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. And we rode gondolas in Italy. Ciao. We walked through tulips blooming in the Netherlands, hello, and then climbed the Alps in Switzerland, guten tag. Those are all different ways that other countries say hello. We explored ancient ruins in Greece, imagining the heroes who had once stood there. Chaipati. And we walked through Russia's Red Square, Zrasvud. Yeah, I'm doing my best here. After Europe, we went east to visit India's famous Taj Mahal. Namaste. That one I can pronounce. We traveled north and watched the acrobats in China. Ni hao. Then we visited a Tori gate in Japan. Konichiwa. Oh, great pictures in this book. Next, we saw the Great Pyramids in Egypt built thousands of years ago, Marhaben, and then Kenyan children greet us, greeted us in Swahili, Jambo. After dancing on Brazil's Coco Cabana Beach, Ole, we visited a bustling marketplace in Mexico, Ola. We traveled across the Pacific Ocean to see kangaroos and koalas in Australia. G'day! And back to South America where the rainforest trees kept us dry. In Hawaii, we learned the hula, the traditional dance. Aloha! Ooh, I see Lilo and Stitch. We ended our journey in the United States where we met cowhands and Native Americans. Howdy! And through our trip, we learned that kids all around the world are pretty similar to us. It's a small world after all. Well, I'm certainly glad I didn't have to sing in that book because there is a famous song in that ride that goes over and over on repeat. But the book was very interesting about all the different countries and the features and attractions in those countries. Thanks for reading It's a Small World with me.